up one of my favorite thrift stores in Copenhagen, I scored this awesome mirror for the low, low price of 200 kroner or approximately 33 US dollars. Hello my friends and welcome back. In today's video, we are gonna do something super simple, super quick and only two steps. That's right, just two steps. Hi you guys, it is not two steps, it's two products. I meant two products, two products, not two steps. apartment building so for part of this makeover I had to use the outside center courtyard as my studio so the first thing I'm gonna do is use my sander to sand off the existing finish After hand sanding some of the details that my sander couldn't get to, I just used an, a paintbrush to wipe off any of the dust, and then after running up the stairs, I had to run back down the stairs to get some clean water and just wipe everything down. Then I had to carry my mirror all the way back up the stairs into my apartment so that I could get the painting done. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a wash, which is nothing more than paint and water. So I'm using DIY paint and weathered wood and some water in a bowl and mixing it up. This is based on a finish that I learned how to do years ago when I was using Annie Sloan chalk paint. It's actually a finish that Annie Sloan had in one of her books and that's where I got it from. I tweaked it just a little bit and made it a little bit simpler and it works with DIY paint as well. So I'm assuming it's gonna work pretty much with any paint that you're using. So here we go. I start by applying a pretty generous amount of the white wax by DIY Paint. And then immediately when that wax is still nice and fresh, I'm going to apply a liberal amount of the wash that we mixed up. This is the weathered wood plus water. And then I'm going to gently wipe it back. Here I'm wiping too aggressively and I wiped off too much and it didn't leave me enough color. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a second try. I didn't even let it dry. I just went ahead and did the same thing over again in that same spot. And this time when I wiped back, I was a lot more gentle and not quite as aggressive as I was the first time. If you like the video, don't forget to tell me that you like the video by hitting that like button down below. That really helps me out. And don't forget, if you have any questions about this project, put them in the comments down below and I will be sure to answer those. something something I decided to dry brush some weathered wood in some of the nooks and crannies and on the edges and in a little bit of the details set up overnight and then gave it a quick buffing with a clean soft cloth and then I cleaned up all the glass and voila I have a finished project and it was super quick and it was super easy
as always, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate you spending time with me today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.